Hey YouTube, God bless you. This is Pastor Nate. I'm just coming to you real quickly. Um, I didn't intend to do an upload today because I've already done one this morning. I try to do only one. But being that this uh, corona disease, this coronavirus is an outbreak, I feel like I would be remiss if I didn't come and talk about it and pray about it. Uh, because it is becoming an epidemic and I think it's worth making a video for. There are other content creators who are talking about it and I thank God for them and we need to continue to talk about it to bring awareness to it and, and in research as much as we can. I understand they're trying to figure it out um, out there. At this point, there is no vaccination for it, right? So I got this information from the uh, CDC website if you want to validate or uh, read further the website is there on the slide so today we want to be informed and we want to pray education and prayer yes all right so what's really going on here so the CDC is responding to an outbreak of respiratory disease caused by the coronavirus right so that lets me know that it's possibly a um an airborne disease because it says respiratory disease, um, which is why it makes sense now. Everybody's talking about wearing masks, wearing masks at the airport, wearing masks in public places. Um, it reminds me uh, of a situation a long time ago where a loved one had TBs and uh, that disease is airborne and we had to all wear masks. So, um, the disease was first detected in China, but it's now been detected in 60 other locations internationally. So, yes, this thing is spreading. Right. So. Um, and of course, we can just take measures by doing everyday practices like uh, frequent hand washing, staying at home when sick, covering our mouth when we cough and sneeze. We should be doing those things anyway. Right. But certainly uh, during this time when the outbreak is going on, we should be doing that more frequently. So Father, we thank you. We pray that you would weaken disease, this disease's effects. So Father, e even all together, I know that you're able to cease it. So we take authority right now in Jesus name and God, we turn it over in your hands. Many say that uh, this is a government altered disease. They say they're trying to kill us all. Uh, some say this is of the devil because he comes to kill, steal and destroy. And some say that God uh, caused this to happen. So, Lord, look, I don't know what it is, but all I know to do is pray. And I just ask that you take control in Jesus name. It is contagious. We've already established that it's airborne, right? Um, you can get it uh, from person to person contact contact within six feet of each other. Um, and then it says through respiratory droplets when an infected person coughs or sneezes, which is so extremely important to cover your mouth when you cough. Again, we should be doing that anyway, right? So basically what that is saying, if somebody sneezes or coughs and you know, the DNA comes out your mouth, I don't mean to be gross, the spit comes out your mouth, that is so gross, uh, yeah, that's what that's talking about. So make sure you cover your mouth. Now I use a napkin cause I, I have napkins in my pocket all the time and around me because I have sensitive eyes and my eyes run water a lot. They, they do. And, um, so I have to have a napkin for that. And if I'm sneezing, a lot of times I use that napkin to cover my mouth. I do throw the napkin away and get another one. Um, so yeah, we need to take measures in, you know, to be very cautious in doing that. Um, touching their own mouth, nose, or possibly their eyes, but this is not thought to be the main way the virus spreads. So we got to be careful uh, with those things. And also touching, you know, like the desk in the area where you work on your job. I've never seen so many sanitizer wipes and uh, sprays as I have over the last few weeks, you know, and when I'm going to work, I always uh, use those wipes, wipe down my work area, wipe down the keyboard, right? Wipe down the mouse and everything around me. Even here at the desk right now, while I'm making this video, even with a couple of people in the house, I'm wiping down desk and everything because it's not to say that, uh, that person has a disease and they should understand and not be offended, right? Because we're trying to protect ourselves. I'm trying to protect me and, um, hopefully you're trying to protect you too. 
So, Father, we thank you. We understand that this disease is contagious. Again, Father, I pray that you would take control and I pray that you would intervene, Lord, and even cease the spread of it in Jesus name. How to prepare. Ah, yes. How to prepare what we're doing right now. We're talking about it. Continue to talk about it. Continue to bring awareness to it. churches, school, colleges, university or any other social uh, event, YouTube videos, Facebook, talk about it, let it ring from the mountaintop so that we can educate others and bring awareness because everybody does not read just because it's out there on the CDC website does not mean that everybody will go out there and, and, and get the knowledge. Right. And that's no slight to anybody who doesn't read. And they, some people just don't read. Right. So this is why we're here doing this. And my people are destroyed because of the lack of knowledge. That's what the scripture says. So we're here uh, embracing knowledge. We're here learning about this here. We're here educating this, educating to others, right? Or teaching others rather. Um, so Father, we thank you for the knowledge that the CDC has provided and the knowledge that any other person has provided. As we learn this, God, let us uh, take the information and stay in a state of preparedness or readiness, if you will. So, Father, I thank you for the knowledge in Jesus name. All right. These are affected location as of February the 28th, 2020. Um, so this was a few days ago. We know that uh, situations uh, have evolved since then, but uh, you can see these countries that have been affected. China, of course, we know that's where it started, right? Iran, Italy, Japan, South Korea. Um, and then as of today, I heard the United States, right? But it's not listed on here because this information is updated as of February the 28th. Um, let's go to our next slide here. I pray I put both of these together. So this here, uh, information was updated as of March the 2nd. And this is only U.S. stats, right? We're not only concerned about the U.S., but most of us live over here. So we do need to be concerned. However, we are concerned about uh, people in other areas and other geographical locations, too. Right. So the total cases in the U.S. 43 total hospitalized 17 total deaths, two. Now, I think earlier today when I saw a banner on AOL that a uh, a death toll was six and it's uh, 7 50 p.m. Central Standard Time on a Monday night. That number may have increased. But again, this is as of March the 2nd. I think it was this morning when they updated every Monday morning, I believe it said. Um, and the states reporting cases 10. So already there are 10 states in the U.S. that's reporting uh, that have been affected by this uh, epidemic. So, Father, we thank you for uh, the U.S. and other location. I pray that you would stretch forth your stretch forth your hands of mercy and grace. Let us be protected again. Let us take caution and measures to protect while at the same time, God, trusting that you would cover us under your blood. We thank you in Jesus name. All right, people, I just want to bring that to you. In the meantime, in between time, be at peace and not in pieces till next time.